one second. Hey guys, taking advantage of the good weather. So this, this is Michelle. Hi. <laughs> As you can see, we're going to do a bit of a change today. So we're not going to go crazy short, but you know, Michelle's hair, you know, I'll just pop this down so you can kind of see what's happening. You know, Michelle's hair, we've got a bob, you know, a rather nice bob, I would say, but we're kind of wanting to go a bit funkier, go a bit shorter, sort of lift it out, get some layers, get something interest going on, you know, give it a nice shaping at the back. So, you know, I know it's not prime time for kind of getting all this sort of stuff done, but I thought, why not? You know, it'll be a cool haircut. It's nice and sunny. Perfect. We can just sit and chill out. You can ask us a few questions. We're just going to be chatting away, so, you know, <laughs> as, we <always> do. <laughs> as we always do. So, you know, feel free to kind of throw us out some questions. You know, we'll all get involved and, uh, hey, we'll see the end of it. Uh, we're going to be doing a bit of colour as well, so well, we'll be kind of busy that, so we'll get the, the grand reveal at the end. But you'll obviously get the sense of things, what's going on. All right? So here we go, guys. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so... Obviously, everyone's going to be working, you see, so, you know, yeah. might get, we might get a few people dodging in and out. That's how it usually happens. They should be nearly high now, shouldn't they? Well, yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy how live videos work, really, because, uh, I mean, you know, certain times they work really well and certain times that you don't get many people involved. But, you know. I've watched a few of them. That colour one was good. Which one Purple was that? The purple shampoo one. Purple. Oh, the toning shampoos yeah. and things. Yeah, no, I did that one live the other night, actually. Yeah, with Saturday, the colour wheels. Sunday. Yes. Yeah, the colour wheel. You know, I mean, it's kind of a bit of an enigma to most people sometimes. Yeah. So. But all that corrective stuff, it, it's, it is quite... But that's kind of the main important thing. You know, you can't just whack a colour on and hopefully it'll mm. turn that colour. You've got a, you know, it's the corrective kind of edge to it. But there's so many people now having all those rainbow colours, aren't there? Yeah, but uh, yeah, actually, I'm glad you kind of brought that up because the rainbow colours, they're all well and good, but you've got to get it to kind of a clean canvas to start with. And how do you get that? Well, you've got to bleach it to, to literally, mm. you know, its point, you know, mm. literally to white. Can and you do that in one go? Sometimes it takes two or three bleaches, but you can do it in one go, especially with like the products you get nowadays. You know, mm. the condition is so much more important. Because obviously the better condition, the better the colour will hold in your hair, mm. you know, and then obviously the happier you'll be with your colour looking amazing. But I mean, some people, you know, they're just kind of hit and hope and just hope for, mm. hope for the best. You know, and then it'll last for like a week, two weeks if that. Yeah, then it looks dull. Yeah, yeah. Or the colour washes literally almost mm. instantly out. And then you're left with bleach blonde hair. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, those kind of colours do sort of fade. It's just natural. Um... They do fade, it's only natural, but you know, what you do tend to find is that, you know, you'll get, um, you'll get softer sort of colours coming through, more pastel tones coming through eventually. I've seen that technique, have you seen it, where they just get paint and just do that all over it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, have you seen it? Have you seen the one where they like use water pistols and all sorts of things yeah. like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I like the idea of it, and uh, I think it can be done, but you've got to get the right consistency and, of course, the colour, the more you yeah, water colour down. How do you get that? So that's that you nice. can... It's just, it, it's just kind of playful colour, that's all it is, really. Mm. Having the time to do it as well, actually, is the most difficult thing. Is it? Because you've got to get that clean canvas on the hair anyway. So if, you, if you're bleaching the hair once, you've got to get it to the, to the lightest, palest mm. blonde you can. And then once you've got it to the palest blonde, and keeping it in condition as well is the thing, isn't it? If you bleached it like that. The downsides of cutting hair outside. <coughs> it's great <laughs> to be outside. Hey, Lindsay, how you doing? Uh, oh, it's nice to do this outside. It is, isn't it? Hair dries quicker, but, you know. This is one of the elements of it I will, I will miss when I'm, not in the, when I'm in the salon, mm. so, you know. Making the most of it. Yeah, the nice kind of sun and... Especially this time of year as well. Yeah, definitely. It wants to be indoors when you can be out. Oh, yeah. Always keep your sections wet, guys. <laughs> you know, I remember you saying that at, <laughs> in Leamington, that shop. Yeah. When you were training them all. Always keep your sections wet. Dry haircuts, they're not very accurate. No. 
People do have that though, don't they? I don't. I don't do them dry. Yeah. Um, you know, unless my client really, really wants it. But you know, dry haircut is you, you can never get the correct shape in because. Well, doesn't the hair move wherever it's wet? It keeps it still. Well, the hair, yeah, the hair moves a lot more when it's when it's uh, when it's dry. You can't mm. see the guidelines very easily. So, you know, you're almost kind of cutting blind. Yeah. You, can, you can see the guidelines, but really quite, it is quite difficult. Mm. So by wetting the hair, you can see the guidelines a lot better. You can stretch the hair better, so you can, you know, you can see the shape cleaner mm. in the hair. Um, you know, because obviously the hair sort of separates out a little bit more when it's wet, it's a lot easier to cut the hair correctly. Mm -hmm. When it's dry, you can <coughs> finesse it a bit more and kind mm. of chip into it better because it spreads out more. So you can actually. So there are benefits with too, too dry. But I'd but say. Doing this, you need it wet, don't you? Yeah, you do need it wet to get the room you know, strong shapes in. Mm. You know, what shape... brushes should you use when you've got wet hair? Because I've heard it saps it off. Um, it all depends on, you know, if you're using a brush with a really high tension. So like a round brush where the bristles are really dense, yeah. that can really, really pull the hair. Oh. Of course, when your hair's wet, it can, you know, if, you, if your hair's in bad condition, it can be kind of fairly elastic, mm. and that can pull your hair. But I mean, you know, you, if it's just how rough you are. I mean, some mm. people they kind of just go in, you know, go at it like the clappers. But mm. do you know. need to get a, a proper one then for wet hair? Hey, you? hey, Haley, how you doing? You're right. Um, there are like special, there are special brushes. So you've got like um, the tangle teasers. Mm. I think you know, we've used that before, haven't we? Yeah, so, yeah I we've... bought Kate one of those as well. Yeah, they're great. Yeah, she's got long hair. <coughs> yeah, and they are they are great for what they are. The volume shampoos work. Not for fine hair. No. <laughs> <laughs> Volume shampoos, yeah, I did. I did a video of that. No, I haven't seen that, that one. Volumizing or thickening shampoo. Mm. Um, you can buy serum to thicken your hair and all that, can't you? But how, in reality, do you, can you thicken your hair? Well, you can you? No, I mean volumizing shampoos. They tend to kind of like add something to the surface of your hair. Um. So of course, if your hair is kind of a little bit softer at the moment, um, oh, I've got a few more hellos to do. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Leanne. How are you guys doing? You're right. Um, so if you've got, you know, if you've got a few uh, layers of product on your hair, what you tend to get, what you tend to find is that you end up going to add weight. Mm, of course, fine hair is fine anyway. Yeah. So and it's, you know, it's harder to kind of hold its own weight up, let alone adding layers of weight. So the thickening products and the and the volumizing products, they're actually designed for kind of. They say finer hair, but of course it can't help it. No. But immediately, you know, normal for thick hair or bigger hair they're great for because you can add the extra weight without causing trouble yeah it doesn't drag it down so what do you what do you use in my fine thin hair then a lot of people a lot of people they're starting to kind of switch ideas now product companies so you know if they're wanting kind of a not a volumizing as such but kind of to help finer hair they kind of tend to go on more of a clean sort of approach so products are very clarifying um, the conditions of, of are so lightweight that you you know you wouldn't oh. even really feel them in the hair um so they're really starting to change their approach mm. so well, it's not about filling filling it up with products then it's about no it's about kind of keeping it as clean yeah. as possible and lightweight as possible because yeah. then you get the most bounce out of it especially fine hair you know so uh hey anna how you doing so yeah it, it's all about um it, it's all about kind of like weight the excess weight and whether your hair can deal with it or not mm. That's, that's the main thing actually about about fine hair. It's just how much weight it can carry. Yeah. If it can carry the weight, then you know you can you can definitely have kind of stronger shampoos on it to add add bulk and thickness and fullness. But so serums don't work then. Um, well, serums are just a lightweight oil, mm, which makes your hair look greasy. And oh. yeah, you know if, if your hair has a tendency to go a bit oily and greasy, then mm. yeah, that's what it'll do. I found that powder quite good. Yeah, because it, it sort of um, it sort of dehydrates the hair a little bit, so it kind of makes it stiffen up. Oh, is that how it does it? Yeah. 
The powders are quite cool. Um, not only that, but they just give it quite a cool texture yeah. as well. So it kind of ends up a bit more messy and a bit more yeah. disheveled. Just be a little bit careful if you're if you're using the powder long term. Right. Because it can it can kind of dry the hair out a lot. Oh. If you're using it, you know, daily and for a reasonable amount of time. If you're using it for nights out and things. Yeah, no big, I'll use no it biggie. for nights out. Well, I've said about that um, sea salt spray. You yeah. don't use that anymore. Yeah, that, that's exactly the same sort of stuff, whereas obviously mm. it, it works in a similar principle. It's not the same stuff, but it works in a similar principle. It sort of dries the hair out to kind of make it feel tougher and give it a kind of an interesting texture. Mm. It's exactly the same as what the dust, the, the powder does. But so, you said before it can dry your hair out if you use it too much. Yeah, yeah, exactly the same with that. So Especially if you've got colour. Oh God, yeah. Makes the colour really dry. Mm. So then guys, you can see we're kind of just fitting it in nicely towards the back. We're going to keep it nice and soft. It's not going to be a severe short haircut. It's going to kind of be a longer version of a short haircut. So feel free guys to ask any questions as well of anything. It doesn't even have to be hair related. <laughs> well, let's try and keep it hair related. The kids. <laughs> <laughs> let's try and keep it hair related. Yeah. We'll just chat away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey Sarah, you're right. Um, but yes, we're going from a bob to shorter hair. Mm. Mm. But still wanting it to look feminine. Uh, exactly. Short, feminine, soft. They're the kind of key words here. Mm. That's the brief I've been given. Yeah. You added funky to it. Oh yeah, sorry. Which of course I want. Youthful and funky. Yeah, nobody wants boring, short, sure, no. long hair. So, funky. Yeah. <laughs> the advice is don't look on the over 50s short haircuts. Oh, God, no, don't do that. Not unless you want to have rollers and perms. Yeah, perm, perm rods. Yeah. Do you do perms anymore? Do you know what? To be honest, I haven't probably done a perm for. Probably about two years. Wow. So I mean, they're really not in there then? No, no, no. I mean, guys guys are sort of having perms more. So it seems to be on the trend a little bit. Um, sort of the younger lads are kind of shaving the sides a little bit more. It's, it, it's been in men's fashion week for probably about a year and a half, two years. Um, or men's fashion, sorry. For a, but, um, you know, obviously it's kind of starting to sort of filter down now. Mm. Um, actually, probably a bit longer than two years, thinking about it. Is um, there? Yeah, movement and wave and everything else has been quite been quite a thing, obviously, for the last little while. But guys' fashion's just picking up on it that a little bit. It is now, isn't it? I love what you did to James's. Ah, yeah, James's hair. Wasn't that amazing. cool? Yeah, no, it looked really, really cool. Transformed him. Actually, it won't be long before I'm going to cutting cages on James's yeah. soon, actually. Thinking about it, so... Um, I can't remember when, off the top of my head when. It will have to be soon for Kate, because she's going away on the 23rd, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I think, that, before she goes. I think we've already booked it, it's already, it's already sorted. Yeah. Can't quite remember now. Did you go over there, then? What's that for? To theirs? Uh, no, no. They came we've, to you? We've got Katie's hair in your house a few times. Oh, was James here as well? I didn't <laughs> recognise it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it, no, we actually did James's hair um, at mine. Oh, mind. So yeah, that was um, that was in my garden. Actually. Oh, yeah, that was amazing. That cut. Oh yeah, yeah. One, well, you know, I think I think he was trying to wind her up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, hey Laura, how you doing? You're right. Hey Lee. Oh God, it's all getting busy now. Oh, there's a load of people in. Yeah. Good. Well, I'd to see. It's well, I'd to see. So your window work. Well. Actually, let's do this side because you know I'm doing the other side. You guys can't see this on the camera, so I'll do this side so you guys can all see what's going on. And I'll move the camera around, so you know. But obviously, the other side is going to be pretty much what happens on this side. Are you copywriting this so they can't all copy you? They can copy me. I do a lot of training anyway, so I used to do a lot of training in the salon I used to work in. So I remember that. I'll be doing a, a fair bit of training in the new salon as well. Oh, that's good. So. Yeah, because they took it to Spain with them, didn't they? Or your techniques. What's that? So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to do a lot of international students and things. Yeah. So there might be a few, might be a few Spanish out there cutting the way we cut. Yeah. Mm. Well, also kind of French, Liechtenstein 
actually. Yeah, there's a lot of, mm. quite, um, a lot of students from Liechtenstein coming over. Wow. Which was quite cool, and quite different. out of that working there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, you know, we, we generally got sort of the best of the bunch, you know, so they used to, they used to come over from college, sort of in the country as being, you know, one of the, one of the better students mm -hmm. as a reward for being a good student, and of course they were learning English as well at the same time. Yeah, which was really valuable to them, wasn't it? Yeah, hugely, yeah, so. And the culture here, what it's like. Yeah. Also, they stayed. You know, they stayed around a little bit longer, so you know they, yeah. they kind of hang around for a bit. You know. Yeah, it was good when they went over and they did that. All right, so I'm not going to cut the baseline in just yet. <coughs> I'm just going to kind of get the general gist of the shape. So. so, will it be more similar to the blonde one I sent you than the dark one? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I think that's better, isn't it? Because it's not so harsh around the face. Yeah, we're going to keep a lot. We're going to keep a little bit of length around the front as well, so you feel that you've still got some length. Mm. That's going to be the main kind of thing about it, really. Um, and literally, kind of keeping it, yeah, keeping that little bit softer, a yeah. bit more feminine. Yeah. I think I think the idea is to kind of give you a short shape. Yeah. Without making you feel like you've got an extreme haircut or yeah, gone extreme, it, if yeah. you know what I mean. That's going to be the kind of key to this shape, really, is to kind of make it feel funky and interesting. Yeah. Different, but also yeah. not so different that you're terrified of it at the same time. Yeah. So what products do I need to use? Um, to I mean, I'd keep it quite a lightweight blow dry. Mm. Just, you know, to get it messy, use your fingers as much as possible. Try not using a brush. Mm -hmm. Everybody forgets fingers you can use to blow dry. You just got to kind of zhuzh it around a little bit. I remember you teaching me that. So it's Because <laughs> yeah. I was used to the old 80s where you put your head upside down, blow dry upside down, then get the biggest brush. What, round brush? Yeah, in the 80s. Yeah, yeah. But you can People actually. People still get use a lot of round brushes now. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't changed a lot. You can actually get the same technique though, can't you? Just do it using yeah. your fingers how you did it before. Well, to be honest, you kind of want a messy look. Yeah. So, you know, using the brush makes it too smooth. So yeah. you want a messy, kind of texturized, interesting look. You use your fingers. I mean, that's what gets the messy, texturised, interesting look going. I'll tell you what I get as well. Hey, Steve, how are you doing? Your hair looks, how can I describe it, fly away, so it doesn't look messy. It just looks fly away when you use a brush. Yeah. Feathery, yeah. if you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, it kind of just depends on where you want to be, really, with it. That's, mm. I think that's the key. You know, whether you want it sort of fluffy sometimes it can go yeah that's the uh you know it looks like you've got split ends but you haven't <laughs> yeah i know what you mean i know what you mean sort of fly away well this is going to have a very soft edge to it as well this shape so you're not going to have you know with the bobbles really clean cut really edgy really yeah. kind of like strong as a shape this is going to be completely opposite it's going to be very soft very you know, feminine perfect so there you go guys, that's the sides sort of pretty much sorted out. I'm going to just take out a little bit more length through here to give it a little bit more of a feel of length towards the front. But I don't want to cut a straight line. No. I want to just keep a very, very, very soft sort of finish so that when it dries we've got a really kind of nonchalant chill feeling about it. Right, Let's bring Meg this Ryan. Whole... Hey? Meg Ryan's cut, do you remember her? Like oh that. god, yeah. That's uh, one or two years back now. D I don't remember it now, I've just been told about it. The Meg Ryan cut. Mm. The Meg Ryan cut. <laughs> yeah. The. Top gun and all that. <laughs> You wouldn't remember that, would you? What, Top Gun? Mm. Top Gun's an iconic film. It's one of those, it's, it's just one of those big, big numbers that everyone has to watch at one point in their life. There may be a Top Gun 2 coming out, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. I saw I saw that advertised on Facebook yeah. as well, don't worry. Mm. I think everybody did. Never been the same. 
Yeah. The, they're gonna kill, I don't know if they're gonna kill the classic, you know? Yeah. Sort of try and like, make it work. It's just, ooh. Okay, so, building weight, building weight. Might leave a bit more time towards the front, so. Isn't it gorgeous from the center as well? Oh, do you know what? Perfect, I might just do this it? in the salon, you know, just take it outside for a do bit. You know, you know? Wouldn't that be great? Just do some like hair out outside. Pull a chair out. That would be brilliant. Off you go. Don't know how the council will do with that, but. No. <laughs> do you think well, they would? I don't know, to be honest. Right, so I'm going to create a bit more length towards the front, so I'm just pulling that back ever so slightly. They probably would have something to say for it. A bit of, you know, licenses and all sorts. Mm. I'm sure. Hey. If you pay enough to rent it, you should be able to have the park out the front <laughs> as well, shouldn't you? I hope so, really. Oh, look at that. Looking good, looking good. So this is the heavier side. We're going to obviously have more hair hanging over this side. Yeah. But you can see already that those layers are looking cool. You can't. I can feel it, like. <laughs> Everyone else can. There's the weight lifting off. <laughs> yeah. actually mm. I'll pretty much get up and go don't do anything with the cuts you do anyway if I'm honest well, that's how most hair sh uh, haircuts mm. should be I mean you know if you're spending more than sort of 30 minutes on a hairstyle oh my gosh it's the wrong don't hairstyle three. you know it's it's a it's not a not a brilliant haircut if you're having to spend loads of time styling it having a good cut is key isn't it yeah exactly that it is it's one of the most important things yeah you know, shape is important. The shape yeah. is the one of the main things about hair. You know, colour is nice, everything else, mm. but shape. Absolutely. You can really tell the difference. You know, it As holds. you know, Lee, I have been to some disastrous <laughs> places, but I always come back. <laughs> <laughs> you learnt your lesson last time, didn't you? Uh, a few times. Do you, mem do you remember the? <laughs> do you remember those serrated ones that are cut like that? Oh, the like thinnest scissors. Like crocodile teeth. Yeah, the thinnest scissors. What, are, what are they used to call them? Pinkish ears. That's it. Thinning scissors. Texturised as they are at the moment. Um, that was a disaster to grow out, wasn't it? Well, see, I've always wondered this. Why use thinning scissors on thin hair? Mm. I, you know, I mean... They said it gives it texture. Yeah. But probably clearly can. it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It gives you a chomped up tube look. Well, texture. <laughs> texture. That's not my definition of texture. <laughs> right, chopped up and chewed. Chopped up and chewed up. Right, we're going to spin round to the next side now, guys, so you get a little tour. Right, and zip, there we go again. But much the same on the other side, really. Uh, how you doing, Frankie? Are you all right? There we go, there we go. Oh, a bit unsteady. All right, right, good. So... I bet you get loads of people when they watch this. Well, watch things it's kind of quite nice because, you know, I get about a thousand views. Mm. Um, and they'll all be in the salon, won't they? You never know. You never oh, know. Hopefully. Well, you know, it's nice. It's nice to kind of, you know, have people watch the videos. Mm. <laughs> that was one of the big scary things when you first start is, oh, my God, mm. I'm not going to get it. I'm going to get, like, two views and that's mm. it. <laughs> And you know, so um, but you know, when you, you don't quite know where to go with a hairdresser, if you can watch someone how professional they are, it, it takes away that anxiety, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Because you does. know they can do it, you're not just going to anyone. Well, I mean, this is why I like doing these videos, really, because you know, you can see what I'm capable of doing, mm. and people can see me in general, how I work, mm. how I am, who I am as well, which is actually mm. quite a big thing. Um, you know, it's not as daunting then. No. I mean, at the end of the day, going to going to a hairdresser's it's terrifying for people who are not got co are not comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, and I've looked after a lot of clients who mm. who've been really uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, to start with, and then, you know, I'm not. Yeah, okay. I'm six foot five. I've got a bit of purple beard, and <laughs> I'm not. You're a big softy. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'm not. You know, 
I'm fairly chilled out. doing it's my passion so yeah, brilliant, Alex. I enjoy I enjoy it you didn't need to stay yeah no I've been busy already this morning so um, you know I've already had a client and a load of foils and all sorted out oh, so it's been wow. busy 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 do you know what I don't really get much time to sit around which is great mm. so um, which will make it interesting when I get keys for the new salon yeah because I've got to do some bits of the salon and also my clients. Mm. <laughs> what work have you got to do in the salon then? Oh, we've got to fit the whole thing out. So... As well as fitting in clients? Yeah. I'm not going to do all the work. I mean, mm. I'm handy, but I'm not. Mm. Yeah, I'm not a plumber or an electrician. Mm. Okay, so, here we go, guys. It's starting to look nice and soft again. Who's joined us? Hey Gemma, how you doing? You alright? So So just creating real nice sort of I know this sounds crazy, but but by creating kind of layers in fine hair, we're gonna create a choppy look. It doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to chop it to death because fine hair cannot be chopped. <laughs> Pink and shears. <laughs> Pink and shears. Thinners. No. <laughs> you know, I mean, obviously you want it to be, you want it to be interesting, but the trouble being, as much as you kind of start chopping into fine hair, what you tend to do is you tend to end up like breaking it up too much and it disappears yeah. so you want to see the kind of chunkiness so actually cutting it clean is quite a lot more mm, makes it look see-through yeah yeah when it's when it's chopped into too much definitely but by cutting it really clean then you can see the definition of the ends of the hair which is what you kind of want hey Kate how are you doing you alright Katie? is that my Katie? Uh, no Katie Brown uh, if, it's, Katie if it's the Katie Brown if it's the Katie Brown that's uh, my sister-in-law Hey, Katie. Another Katie B. Katie B. From Browntown. Oh. Uh, from Southampton. If, oh. it, if it is, anyway. I can't, can't quite see. So, there we go. There's our general shape. Now, there's a few longer points, but that might change in a minute. Yeah, let's change that. So... Picking off these last little bits here. Do you not realise we haven't got electricity out here? Mm. Get the extension and uh, work something out. Yeah. <laughs> I've got an extension lead, but it's not it's not a huge, huge massive one. I'll see if I've got one too. Mm. And then I've got one. Alright, so do some layers on the top. Create this extra bit of movement and texture. So were you cutting it off straight or diagonal? Straight. Yeah. Completely and utterly straight. Because sometimes hairdressers they cut into it like that, don't they? Yeah, that's what I was just <coughs> that's what I was just saying on the camera about. Mm. With, um, if you chop into hair, mm. you've got to be really, really careful when you're chopping because you end up taking away your shape. You know, and mm. obviously with wispy hair anyway, mm. if you make it more wispy, it's going to be a nightmare. So and that's what you meant by that. Yeah, exactly. So we do it in angles, don't we? Yeah, I mean, you know, everything's in angles, actually, to be honest. So this whole haircut mm. is at a certain angle to make it sit better. It's hard to draw it off, actually, just with the wind, so... It takes hardly any time later, guys, you know. <laughs> oh, oh dear, the battery's going to go. Those women who walk in have, like, ages to dry the hair. Yeah. I just walk around the kitchen and mind them. Just walk around the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Bone dries itself. Yeah. Right.
will be some colour after this, so we might kind of uh, have to have a bit of a break. And the phone's dying a little bit, so, you know, well, what, you what should I do? Um, I should do, but I don't. So, now this is the first time Michelle's actually going to see this as well, so um, I'm hoping for a good reaction. I know, it'll be amazing, <laughs> it always is. So, no, oh, actually you can't, can't see, there you go. Oh my goodness, I love it. So, and I haven't paid you to say that. No, you haven't, <laughs> you know I would say it easily. <laughs> So we might adjust that, that fringe gorgeous. a little bit more in a little while, but you know, we've got... That you know, is gorgeous, look at that. From a strong oh, bob to it. a really soft, really texturised, you know, and you that can see how so kind of interesting that's going to be. That is so nice, isn't it's it? Gonna look really, really cool. Yeah, really, really cool. thank you, I love it. No worries. No worries, mate. No worries. So, we'll have to sign off for the time being. Um, he wants a cup of tea, really. I want a cup of tea, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll get me to a cup of tea. We'll get the colour on. And then I'll give you a, um, a low down later on. And some pictures and, you know, some finished work. All right? So, ciao. I'll see you in a bit, guys. All right?